Hey everyone, Steve here from Big Head Tech and oh, be quiet, you guys might as well just enter into a sponsorship with me, right? Hint, hint, wink, wink. Well, no, um, I'm working with an independent marketing team that works with Be Quiet, so it's not unfortunately them direct, but Dark Rock Pro 4, let's talk about it. I actually have no idea how well it performs, obviously it's actually still in the box here. I had a Dark Rock Pro 3 during the Intel 4000 series and it was a pain to install. From what I've read, they completely redid the mounting. So, if it's better, which I hope it is, and it performs well, that'll be good. However, it's up against Noctua and a couple AIOs, so stay tuned for that video. But today, we're going to take a look at how to install this guy on LG 11.5X and AM4. Oh, already liking it. Soft foam, sweet. Okay, mounting hardware most likely. And it looks like, yes, this is actually gonna have to completely come out. So I'm gonna flip this this way. Perfect. There's that, there's that. And, oh, we even have an included screwdriver. And from what I've seen, Sinoctua, I like your design works fine but this is a whole nother level like th this screwdriver is like going to be used going forward for other stuff which i guess that's free publicity for be quiet so one of the cool things is is that they did attach the fan or they slid the fan in a, in a paper box here so it doesn't strip this so that's good let's take a look at the mounting hardware here so we have oh wow couple different guides so this is RU English oh, ES DE FR and PL so we need English that's that's a lot that's not bad so they give you enough uh, for the additional fan and then one more fan in the rear perfect we have Intel mounting AMD mounting a two to one adapter everything that we're gonna need now from what I remember, yes. So first thing to note is basically all your LJ11.5 is going to be the inner one and 1366 is the outer. Very simple. There's basically two possibilities you can work with here. Rubber pieces kind of do two things. A, it's going to help prevent shorting to a degree. It also helps keep everything somewhat in place. Okay. There we go. So we'll just get these started. Actually, interesting. Yep. Perfect. Don't want to over tighten it, but you definitely want to get it down. Perfect. Ah, let's go outwards. So, you, for any time you always want to match the back plate. Oh, it goes down. These have a relatively hard lock, so it should, shouldn't worry too much about over tightening. Keep that in the back of your mind. A couple things, don't forget to remove this. This this point is where you put your thermal paste down. We're skipping that step because I don't want to waste it for my test. What's interesting is you have this piece and it slots in right down through here. So what's cool is there's basically only one way it'll slot. So it should make life pretty easy. All you have to do is just line it up with the holes here. This that doesn't go through. So you do have to oh, okay that wasn't too bad. I have fat finger, so I will go and say this. Light ears. I mean a light ears better than the old way that we quite used to do. 
The only thing is this part is a teensy bit tricky if you have fat fingers to get them down in there. So I would say this probably isn't the easiest cooler to install inside the case. There's that. All I have to do is fish this through the other side. Slide the fan into the position that you want it. Grab the shorter mounts. I believe the other mounts are for the rear. And we can simply pull that back into there. Spin this guy around. Perfect. Okay, remove the two screws, or four screws total from here and here. Remove that, stock back plate will stay on. We have these little black cylinders that we're putting on right now. The wider piece goes over the back plate portion and the skinnier piece goes over top. Just so you know, it does tell you AM4 right up here. And we need this to face inwards here. And you can honestly just start it with your finger here, like two or three really quick rotations is fine. And I must say, be quiet, including the screwdriver. Oh, amazing. I'm going to be using this for other projects going forward. It's just, it's a nice, I mean, you got a strong black tip, nice handle, uh, very similar to Scythe. I really like their screwdriver a lot, but I, I, this one's a little bit of a smaller head, so it, it actually should fit more screws. This piece, if you remember, does slot into here, and it'll move around until you get it actually slotted in. And here is where you would remove the plastic piece at the bottom and put your thermal paste there, but this is only demonstration purposes. And as you see, the cooler actually does clear basic RAM, but um, RAM with larger heat sinks may require uh, some adjustment. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Um, here, I'll just slide it in this way to make life easier since you already saw me slide it in the other way. Perfect. Just grab the shorter ones here. I want to thank Be Quiet for sending me the Dark Rock Pro 4. I really appreciate it. I am really, really happy with the mounting improvements. Um, it looks to have a decent amount of compatibility. From what I understand, this is a 135 fan up front and a uh, 140 in the middle. And they did that for RAM clearance purposes. <clears throat> and uh, just something to share with everybody. And I really appreciate I can do this uh, with Be Quiet because they've worked They've worked a lot with me. This is the fourth product in a short period of time, and they're gonna work with me on future projects as well as I grow. Uh, I have officially received my master's degree in information systems today. Um, so that really helps, I guess, solidify some of my experience. I mean, I know a lot of people with masters that don't know computers, but I work in the software field. I've done a lot here and just having my master's degree is really, really, really important to me. I worked really hard and I was supporting with family, friends, and honestly, you guys as well. You guys helped me keep my mind away from school sometimes when it got a little bit tough. So I really appreciate that from everybody. Um, again, I want to thank Be Quiet. I'm going to put a link in the description below on where to buy this and all the other Be Quiet products I've reviewed so far because I haven't reviewed a bad product from them yet. Honestly, I haven't. So I endorse them 100%. Uh, if you liked the video, hit that like button. If you dislike, hit the dislike button. Um, get subscribed, leave a comment, buy stuff. Uh, that's pretty much it. As always, this is Steve from Big Head Tech and I'll see you all later on down the road.